Good morning, good evening, good night, whenever and wherever you are, my friends. My name's Alex, and I'm here to teach you about Firebase in GDevelop. This is how we get custom leaderboards outside of requiring a GDevelop account. So here's how we do it. We're going to jump right into it. We have a blank canvas per usual. At the very top, we're going to go to, oops, we're going to go to our project manager, go to our properties, and we're going to scroll down here into the database configuration string. Now, we're just going to start right here. We're going to leave this open and we're going to go to firebase.com. And actually it's firebase.google.com. My apologies. So right here, firebase.google.com. And once we have an account made, we're going to go to console. We're going to create a new project. We're going to call this one um, uh, G develop leader. Okay. We're going to go ahead and hit continue. We're going to make sure that Google Analytics for this project are enabled. So if it's not, enable it. We're going to uh, use the default account for Firebase. Perfect. We're going to create the project. It might take a second, so just give it a moment to rest. Let it do its thing. Get up, get a cup of coffee, get a drink of water. Do what you got to do. We'll be right back in just a second. Perfect. Our database is now set up. So all we have to do is hit continue. We're going to go into our database and we're going to start with the web application. So it's asking you what type of app we're doing. We're going to start with web. We're going to type leaderboards and we're going to set up the Firebase hosting here in just a minute. So we're going to skip over that and we're going to register the app. What we really need is access to the Firebase SDK, the software development kit. Now, we don't have to run any of this. However, what we want to do is we're going to copy um, all of our Firebase config here. All right. So, yeah, we need to start with actually just the, um, the JSON part of this script, just right here. So after the Firebase config, we're just going to grab this part, which is the JSON, and we're going to paste that into Firebase. Now, because of the way that GDevelop reads all of our stuff, we have to go through and add some quotes very quickly to all of the, the titles here. So we're just going to run through and very quickly do that. And make sure you use the double quote, very important. And we're just doing the title. We don't need to wrap the uh, semicolon. That just separates it in the JSON, letting it know. Okay, that one I messed up. There we go. Uh, and letting it know what to read and when to read it. Now, I will delete all of these so yours will look different. Don't share these things with anybody else. But I don't mind sharing this with you today because I'll be deleting that um, in, in right after this. So... It won't work for you if you use this. We're going to go ahead and hit apply. And we're going to go back to our default scene here. We're then going to go to our web page here. Now, this is our project. So if you're in your project overview for the file that you're in, you got to go to build and do the fire store database. Now, if you do, uh, if you have already clicked it, it'll show up here in the project shortcuts. And then what we need to do is create a database. Okay, the database ID is default. That's totally fine. We don't need anything special there. What we need to do is select our region, whatever makes the most sense for where we're working. We're going to do United States in this case, because if it isn't obvious, I'm American. And we are going to go into our production mode. Now, this pre-generates our code for us. We're just going to let it go through production and hit create. And then we need to go in and edit that production mode sheet. We need to change the right mode to true. All right, so to get started, once we're inside of our Firestone database, our Firestore database, we're going to click on Add Collection. And this, we get to name our collection. And in this case, we're going to do leaderboards because that's what we're uh, we're here for. And later on uh, in another video, we'll be adding more to this Firebase. So we're going to go into leaderboards, hit Next. Now we're going to click Auto ID. And these are rules down here. We're not going to add any rules here, but we're just going to let it pass as it is because we just need that document ID to be created, this sort of hash for our 
um, our database. So we're going to use that and hit save. And now we have our leaderboard. We can actually scroll up here and go to rules. And this is where we get to adjust those other rules I was talking about. We're going to set the rule here from false to true. Okay. And we're going to publish that. That basically enables our database to be re read, written from GDevelop because we're giving GDevelop the actual access here. So they're defined as public. Anyone can steal, modify, and delete any data in your database. And that's why the API key is really important. You guys could come in here now with my API key and totally mess up what I'm doing. And again, not a big deal because it will be deleted. So don't stress about that. So what's really cool about this is now we're ready to go. It's been added into GDevelop. It's all configured. And so now we just need to hop into GDevelop, configure it, because what we add to our collection over here, what is added to this database is actually decided because of the read and write rules by GDevelop itself. So thank you so much for stopping in on this video. Stay tuned next time for more information about Firebases and how to integrate it into GDevelop. Until next time, remember, happy game making, and I'll see you in the next video.